This was a 2019 murder that captured the attention of people all across Central Virginia. A VCU administrator found dead inside her home here in Richmond. She'd been sexually assaulted and strangled. Now the man accused of killing her is on trial. CBS 6's Cameron Thompson has been in the courtroom all day and joins us now live with the update. Cam? Yeah, and Cheryl, day one of this trial wrapped up after five witnesses were called by the prosecution after jury selection this morning. The majority of them being Richmond police officers, but also included the victim's own son. Prosecutors told the jury this was, quote, every woman's worst nightmare, and quote. Back on the night of May 9th, 2019, 53-year-old Suzanne Fairman was found dead inside her South Richmond home, submerged in the bathtub. Prosecutors say the VCU operations administrator was held at knife point, bound, raped, and then strangled, and alleged Thomas Clark is responsible. They say Clark had done work at the home, and DNA evidence will tie him to the crimes. Clark's attorney told jurors he agreed this case was a nightmare, but his client didn't do it. He asked the jury to keep an open mind about the circumstantial DNA and cell phone evidence they'll see, mentioning he'll bring up possible DNA contamination. In the end, he says they'll know something happened, but not exactly what. The prosecution's first witness was Fairman's son, Scott, who said his mom was, quote, my best friend, the one person I could go to for everything, end quote. On the stand, he talked about texts with his mom in her final days, including the last one she responded to the night in question. He also revealed that after he found out she was dead, he sent her one more that simply said, quote, I love you so much, end quote. Now, the final witness today was a forensic investigator who detailed the evidence she collected from that home, including a knife and bandana, which prosecutors say contains Clark's DNA. Prosecutors say they have over a dozen witnesses to call in total. No word how many the defense plans to call, including if Clark will take to the stand in his own defense. The trial resumes tomorrow at 9 a.m.